Hey everybody, Richard Seller back here with another video blog for you guys. I want to talk a little bit today uh, about a common issue that comes up in our whistleblower cases. Um, the distinction between complaining about something illegal and not illegal in the workplace and why that's important. So the Florida law is as follows on this. Okay, The Florida law says that if an employee objects to what they reasonably believe to be a violation of a law, rule, or regulation being committed by the employer, and then the employee gets fired as a result, they are considered a whistleblower under the law and can pursue a claim for wrongful termination uh, and damages uh, for that violation. What we often see in uh, potential clients is a fact pattern where the employee or potential client goes to human resources and complains that an employee is not being nice to them or that they feel that um, their work or their computer isn't the way it's supposed to be or, or something that doesn't trigger a legal obligation, meaning the employer's not necessarily violating the law you know, or discriminating or, or something to that effect. And it's a really tricky situation and let me explain to you why, okay? The employee handbooks are all gonna tell you we have an open door policy. You should always come to human resources if there's any concern or complaint that you have. Yet, oftentimes, have you ever heard of a situation where an employee went to human resources and didn't wind up getting fired at some point? So it's really a double-edged sword. The law requires the employer to put these policies in the handbook, okay? The, employer, the, the law requires the employer to say, we have an open door policy. But it's really easy to talk the talk, but it's not so easy to walk the walk. So here's what I mean. If an employee goes to human resources and complains about something that he's not illegal, Sheila is not being nice to me and I hate when she eats fish in the office because it stinks up the whole office. We've actually seen that before. Uh, thankfully not in my office. And then it turns out the manager is friends with Sheila and tells Sheila, hey, you know, she just complained about you and and it turns out that the manager wants to get rid of Sheila, well, guess what? You can legally be fired for going to human resources and complaining about Sheila and eating stinky fish in the office because what you objected to is not a violation of a law, rule, or regulation. So it's a real tricky situation. Potential clients often believe that simply because they went to human resources with a complaint, not necessarily a complaint about illegalities, that they are somehow protected and it is not true and it is dangerous. So now you say, well, great, Rich, what am I supposed to do if I've got a problem in the workplace? This is why I do what I do. So look, if it's a small issue that you can resolve without human resource intervention, I would strongly encourage you to try to resolve it with your co-employee, okay? If it is a situation that needs to be escalated, then escalate it, but do it in a manner that is non-confrontational, meaning send an email to your manager or to human resources saying to the effect of, I'm having this concern at work, I tried to resolve it with Sheila, um, it's not resolving, I just wanna see if we can resolve this or if perhaps human resources can help, okay? Now, that doesn't mean that human resources or the company won't look at you as a squeaky wheel and then go ahead and turn around and fire you, but it's all in the way the message is delivered, okay? Reminder, where you are protected is where you're objecting to something illegal going on in the workplace. So let's say you see your employer is engaging in Medicare fraud or falsely billing a client or engaging in race discrimination or um, getting rid of pregnant employees and, and doing it or older employees and doing it on purpose and then you object and you get fired, you're protected. But I gotta tell you guys, practice tip number one, if it's not in writing, it never happened. So you guys need to put your complaints in writing and save a copy. Handwritten note is fine, take a picture with your phone. Send an email, print a copy, keep it for yourself. Because you'd be amazed how those emails disappear when there's a lawsuit and what the employers do to those emails. It's real easy to go ahead and, and, and delete something that's real harmful and we've seen it in cases before. So just quick recap. Not everything you go to human resources with is considered protected. You can be fired for going to human resources unless you are triggering 
protected or illegal activity. So pick and choose your battles in the workplace. Of course, if you ever have questions and you're not sure about what you should do, we're here. We offer free consultations. We lose money on them every day, but you know what? It's for the greater good. It's to help you guys out. It's to make sure you can feed your families and you're not, you don't wind up fired and unemployed. Of course, if you do get fired, we're always here for you as well, God forbid. But we're here. If you need anything, if you have general questions, Richard at FloridaOvertimeLawyer.com. Email me directly. You'll get a response from me. You can also go to www.FloridaOvertimeLawyer.com and you can fill out a form there if you want as well. But the best, the best way to get me is to email me. So that's a quick primer on whistleblowers. Not everything you complain about is illegal. If you're going to go to Human Resources, document, make sure that what you're complaining about is illegal, what they're doing. Protect yourselves because nobody else will. Have a great Memorial Day weekend. Be safe. Don't drink too much. Don't drive. If you're going to do fireworks, watch those fingers. Be well.